at GTC. Um, I'm Orly Gonen from PrimeSense, Marketing Manager. Uh, we are at the OpenNI uh, booth. Um, we are showing here uh, several applications and middleware that are um, developed on top of the 3D sensing technology of PrimeSense. Um, the most common uh, product that uh, we have uh, is this, is the 3D sensor by PrimeSense. It's the same technology that we have in the Kinect. Um, and we are also, uh, we just um, introduced the next generation, which is this one, as you can see. The tiny difference between the two. So this is first generation, this is second generation. As you can see, it can uh, fit in any consumer device uh, and any, any electronic device. Um, uh, it's an embedded module. Um, so OpenNI basically is the platform, is a non-profitable uh, organization to promote 3D sensing development. Uh, it works with several uh, sensors, the S2 section, the prime sense sensor, uh, you can uh, um, also find it in several more. And um, we have a community of uh, more than 100k developers that are doing stuff with our technology. Uh, we have here a couple of partners that uh, are doing uh, different things. Uh, we have developers doing uh, um, solutions for the retail market, for gaming, for uh, education, medical, uh, um, rehab. Actually, um, it's infinite because uh, once a developer uh, is uh, downloading the SDK and start working with the 3D sensor, the sky's the limit. They can do anything with it. And uh, we discover every day new, new applications and uh, new use cases that we didn't even uh, think of. So today here we're going to show a couple of uh, demos from Phase Shift and from Delicode. Uh, one is doing a Phase Shift um, a middleware for uh, face uh, tracking. It's really cool. Um, we have uh, the user tracker by uh, PrimeSense, the night uh, middleware. And we have Delico that they made a really cool application for kids, uh, interactive uh, book that uh, kids can play uh, everywhere. So uh, this is uh, middleware by PrimeSense. It's called Night. It's uh, built on top of uh, Open and ISDK and the 3D sensor. And actually, what it does, it can identify the users, the the persons, the people in the scene, and uh, identify uh, each and every uh, person that is uh, in the scene. Uh, then it can see the the skeleton and track the movements of the skeleton uh, for each and every person in the scene. Uh, the, the number of, uh, of, of people is infinite. As many that can fit the frame, the, the middleware will detect it and will uh, um, track the, the movements.